Oh, hello there. We are back on the SakuraCraft server. I welcome you and we are right now in our shop, the Red Mill. And I don't think I've ever on camera looked at the profits of this shop. And to be honest, it's very up and down. So there are a few days where like someone is doing a big redstone project, their storage system, something like that. And then we have loads of diamonds. But these right now, I think they have been sitting in here for at least a week, if not even two. So it's a decent profit right now, I'm seeing. Um, but it's not it's not in a day. That's not something that I find every day. And you can see, for example, something like dispensers. I'm kind of happy when it's not bought because restocking that is a lot of work. We even sold some rails, I think. So that's amazing. And some more over here. I will be restocking the shop off camera. And we actually have to share this with Husky. So let's head over to the post office. Up there. And let's find... Whoa! Let's find Husky's mailbox and give him half of this. Very nice. But that's 43 more diamonds for ours. And I will be restocking the shop, I think. This will obviously not stay, <laughs> but it's the first time I tried to build myself a chair, some kind of throne. I think it looks quite nice. I think it it's decent. It's decent. Um, yeah, I, I might place this somewhere in the church or somewhere else in the village. But for now, I will stand here or sit here and narrate this episode. So in the last episode, uh, I promised to go some netherite mining. Uh, to get some lodestones and that I did and some other things happened as well so those clips follow now why not try our luck right next to the bastion let's just go down here and see what we have if there are other tunnels or not I think we are good I think we are good I can't remember exactly what the ideal level is for netherite mining but I think it makes sense to go a little bit lower the reason for that is with the TNT we will blow up quite a few blocks up above we don't want too much lava to drop down on us we have the fire resistance but it's just annoying to traverse the lava so we will go a little bit lower the tnd should still uncover a lot sorry for this lag spike it, it should be working out quite well and i think we are good nobody has been here so i will dig this tunnel for a few blocks play some tnt and yeah then fire my flame arrow on it Again, I have not too much experience yet with this. I don't know how much space is ideal, but I think it needs to be not too far away. Maybe every two blocks is too much, is overkill, but I have the TNT, so might as well have some fun. Actually, we might want to have some space to be protected ourselves. Let's stick a little bit further in this direction. Uh, uh... <laughs> I should not place the TNT to protect me from the lava. That could have that could have ended up badly, very badly. The lava is gone. Let's put up some netherrack here just to pretend I'm protected. <laughs> Let's load the arrow and see what's happening. That's looking solid. Some lava coming down, but I think everything is... I see some ancient debris. Not everything exploded. Here we go. The next chain. I don't know how, fur how much further it goes. Let's see what we can find. I know that people ha sometimes struggle to find all the ancient debris because sometimes it's covered in the lava. We have some ancient debris there. We have some here. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's mine that up. Let's do this a few more times. Just found some ancient debris just from strip mining. Okay, we are ready again. <laughs> we have a visitor. Let's see if there's anyone else. And we can fire some arrows. Here we go. Awesome, that's so much fun. I can see more ancient debris all over the place. This is awesome. And even more ancient debris back there. So I think we are certainly set for the lodestones that we wanted. Ooh, 
we are heading back over to our starter house. I have not been here in days and I think I haven't been back here in videos at all after the first video. But this is actually the place I often go when I have to smell things because I have still not set up a real furnace array or anything like that. So let's put the ancient debris in here. We have a little bit more here. I got it for some prizes, I think, for, I don't know, I don't quite remember. That's eight ancient debris. We wait for this to smelt, we get all the scraps we have, we get some gold on the other, in our base. And we are back here with our villagers right now, with our stonemasons. I need them because I need some chiseled stone bricks. Let's just take all of those. Then I grabbed some gold so that we can craft the netherite ingots. Um... Where are they? Here they are. Seven netherite ingots. Now we can make up to seven lodestones, but for now we only use five of them. And I think there's actually an advancement when we have a compass to, to put it there. Okay, let's be smart about this. Let's use the gravel. Let's pillar up a little bit and place them in. One, two, three, four and five let's have a look at this again i actually also i didn't think uh, i don't think i showed it on camera i removed a little bit here so we can have a better look and now we can see these lodestones this looks a lot better this is how it was supposed to be um the only thing we have right now if, if we look up there we can see uh, the ceiling with the wood i have to think of something um how to fix that but we will, we will keep that for another day, I think. There you are again. So how did the netherite mining go? Uh, if I'm well informed, it was enough for the lodestones, but actually I had so much more TNT left. So I think I had actually, this was the shulker box with TNT and I think I had at least nine stacks of TNT left. And I couldn't stop myself from trying to see how much I could get from all of this TNT. So I just went mining a lot more and collected all the netherite mines uh, in a small little montage again.
And with that, we are back to the present, at least for me. Uh, I'm back with all my riches. This is my Schalke box of riches. I put all of my gold in there as well, all of the diamond ore that I own currently, and our 54 ancient debris that we mined uh, just a minute ago for you, but a day ago for me. We will head over again to my starter house to smelt all of this. Maybe not all of this. I think I want to keep some of the ancient debris. But I think we will we will get our first netherite block. I think I just want to have that. I think it's, it's such an awesome block. <laughs> if I had more of it, I would build with it as decoration. But for now, let's just make one. For my collection... <laughs> I want to have one of each for now. So one netherite block, one netherite ingot, uh, one ancient debris and one netherite scrap. So we need eight more ingots to create one block and have one extra ingots. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. I know I can count. And then we have these ancient debris as extra. And for now, I will keep them like that. Um, let's see <laughs> further on later on what we will do with those. But these 32 we can smelt. We are ready for our first netherite block. I'm so excited. I think... No, this is not the first netherite block I had in survival. But it's the first one that I created myself. Here we go. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's a netherite block. I don't know. There's something about it uh, that, that just looks super awesome i really like it i really like the texture i wish it was a little bit more accessible just a tiny little bit and it takes ages to mine awesome awesome and this is how it looks with normal fov my field of view i changed it back uh, on the chair in my base because uh, you couldn't see the whole of me including the chair with normal field of view but Actually, so the first netherite block that I ever got was on the survey before this and I got it as a gift. So in case you are playing on a multiplayer server as well, these things are awesome gifts. It's just it's just so cool. It's just the single item, but it has so much meaning to it because it's so many hours of mining. Uh, yeah, let me know if you've ever gave a netherite block to someone else. That's such a cool gift. If I have a second one, uh, I think I will do more mining. Um, I think I will give it to someone. So after all of this, after <laughs> so many clips of me mining the netherite, and it was actually a lot of fun, and it was also a lot of fun to edit it. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, I tried to keep it not too long, like literally it took me several hours. Um, but we are quite advanced in time, but we still have one project for today. And this is down here. I'm not sure if I've showed this or not, but this is where I have been mining. Um, where I've been mining for all my diamonds whenever I was bored, whenever uh, I didn't have anything to do. I would just go down here and mine, mine and mine. And there's no beacon here, right here, right now. So what I want to do is I want to create, I want to turn this into an actual mine. So uh, not an actual mine in the sense of uh, functionality. Well, why not? But... Uh, also from the looks. So we will try to transform this. And I'm not really sure how to do this yet. It will be my first project uh, of this kind. Um, but I thought it would be quite cool um, to have on this pathway that we will have down here from the mountain, from the village, down into the... And this will turn into a forest. <laughs> it's not very foresty yet. But to have a mine here. Uh, this will be the project for today. So I will gather up some things, mine a little bit around to create the canvas that I like and we'll be back with you. So I made this hole a little bit wider for now. And I think I have a problem with always wanting to do too many things. My first thought right now was to texture the walls because I don't like this look, but I like the look of it being, being like raw, uh, being the stone. Um, so I was thinking of maybe texturing it like this and kind of creating different layers within the stone that could somewhat look natural. And for that, I'm thinking to use stone and aside some light gray concrete powder, I think, and maybe up above some dirt and coarse dirt and brown concrete powder. 
I have something planned. I will do one of the walls and then I will show it to you. And let's hope it doesn't take too long. I got carried away a little bit. <laughs> I finished all of the sides already and I put in some beams. Uh, but I put four different colors right now to decide which one looks best. But first, let's, let's look at the walls. So we have brown concrete powder up here. Then we have dirt. We have coarse dirt. And let's try to sail down very smoothly. Then we should have the light gray concrete powder. No, the gravel. The gravel. Then the light gray concrete powder. Here we go. <laughs> then we have the andesite. And then we have the stone. Okay, let's have a look from the bottom. This is how it looks right now. And I very much like how it looks from the from the bottom. If I were to do it again, I would have the dirt part in the top way, way smaller. So right now, if you look at it, um, whoa, uh, the dirt goes quite deep and it feels a little bit unrealistic, at least to how Minecraft usually does the dirt and the stone. Um, but I'm trying to learn to not be a perfectionist and... Uh, I like it, so um, it's way better than before, so I will keep it like this. I will still try to make it a lot nicer, so that's why the beams are here. And I tried out the different colors. I really like the acacia. It fits very well, but to me, there's too little contrast with the stone. I also like the stripped oak wood, um, but I actually prefer the dark oak, but the stripped one, because I like it to be dark. I think the stripped oak is a little bit too too bright for this area as it's a mine um, and there's a lot of work being done here. It seems like it would never look this clean and and shiny, <laughs> not shiny, uh, bright. Yeah, and that's why I like the dark oak and I like the stripped one a lot more. I think the, the look is just awesome. We have fixed the four pillars and I think now I will remove this beacon, <laughs> which will take some time. I do not have a grand vision for this place yet. <laughs> so I will just have to go step by step. So for now, I have the water put in uh, so that actually when we drop down, we can go very quickly and don't have to use a pearl or use up our totem because we die. Um, and then I want to have this ladder because I will always use my rockets, I think. But sometimes maybe someone drops in here that doesn't have an elytra or I'm out of rockets. And I just want to be sure that it's possible to get out of here because I just feel like that's that's what a proper mind should be able to do. The people that enter it can also get out of it again. Very nice. Okay, now let's start decorating this place a little bit. Um, not entirely sure what I would do here. Maybe also bring down the wall on these two sides and then have kind of an entrance here. And then... Yeah, I don't know yet. I have some furnaces on me. I will probably have a workstation area with a blast furnace and a normal furnace, uh, some chests. I will make some barrels and then I will maybe raise the ceiling a little bit and put some beams in. Not quite sure yet. I have not done this before. Now I wish I had the beacon still going. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm, I won't do actually the whole area, but just a little space as an entry and then at some point you can't decorate anymore, can you? So I could I could try and go into each branch and decorate it, but that's just overkill. So I think I will take some area here, maybe make it a little bit wider and turn this into the, the workers lounge. Does that sound too fancy for a mine? <laughs> People working here probably wouldn't call this a lounge if they if they actually had to do hard labor. But that's what I will turn this into. This is a small little update of what I have been doing so far. So I tried out one wall with the furnaces and with some storage. And at this point, I kind of thought I would like to have some more depth here. I would like to use something back there to have this not look as flat. So I tried again here and I moved the furnaces uh, one row to the front to the front. And I think this is already a million times better. Um, I ran out of trapdoors here right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think I will try to go for something like this, but it could still use more details. And right now the color scheme is, is quite similar. I do like the lanterns, but obviously the ceiling, all of these things needs to be, needs to be a lot different. Uh, yeah, let me, let me work on more. I like this, uh, this hidden storage right here with these four barrels. Um, yeah, I will try out a, a few more things and get back to you. <laughs> Sometimes for me... It is a lot easier to just work off camera and then show off what I did. Uh, let me know if you enjoy that as well or if you enjoy the process. But 
This is a sneak view of what I did inside. I think I am finished for now. Um, and I hope you will enjoy. I will I will show you a little bit. So we have the path, um, or not a path, but we have the floor with like some dirt, coarse dirt, path blocks. I really like this. It looks a little bit, um, it looks used. Very nice, very nice. So this is what I showed you before. I put the furnaces away. I didn't use them anywhere. Actually, we have still some here in the back. Um, and I put some lanterns in the back. You can actually see it from the other side. Uh, it's quite funny. I just surrounded it with with trapdoors on on each side. I think that turned out quite well. We have some blast furnaces here. We have some design on the top, all the lanterns. This is our storage. We have some barrels, some chests. Nothing's in there right now. Um, and then I put some uh, invisible item frames with a pickaxe here, with a pickaxe on the anvil. And then we have this thing. So I was contemplating. I I don't have a I don't have a real smelting system so far. Um, and I want to build a big one, like a really big one in the future. But for now, I thought I want to make this place useful as well. Um, and so I, I built this. It's it's quite simple. It just has a, a mine cart. Right now, I filled it with blaze rods. Uh, I bought them <laughs> in the shopping district. Um, that fills the furnaces. So right now, there's coal in all of them. Let's turn. Let's take the coal out. And now if we pull this lever, the minecart in the back goes back and forth and it fills the the furnaces with the blaze rods. And yeah, I can, whenever I want, I can just turn it off and the minecart stops. And the same with the front. This is where you load the, the things that you want to smelt. And I tested it a little bit with some sand. And this is working flawlessly so far. It's not the fastest, but it's quite nice. And as I said, I want this place to be useful. So now I actually have a have a reason to go here. Um, even though I have all the diamonds I need currently. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've got going in here. I really like I like it. I really love it. Um, again, this is the first time I'm designing some kind of mine. We have the buttons for the pebbles. Yeah, and then there is one more thing that I did. <laughs> again, I got carried away. If you look up right now, you can see it's very dark. It's very dark. Let me show you from the top. We have a nice and humble little building. Is it a building at the top? So it's just, I extended the wooden beams a little bit, uh, did some designs with fences. And then we have this thing with the with the oak fence that pretends to be a rope and the grindstone uh, to kind of pretend that this can go up and down and this mine would actually do something. Maybe we can put a barrel here or something like that. Uh, yeah, you can still drop down. You can see here on the sides. So whenever I want to enter the mines, I want to enter the furnace uh, furnace area, I can just drop down like this. And we can also fly up. I still haven't practiced flying up from, from the water. Yeah, we can still fly up like this and just get out of here without getting hurt. So I quite like this. Um, it's just, again, as I said, something humble, something small, something nice. Um, but I think it adds to the area and once we put up a few more things this will also work out quite nicely And then here we will have to put some dirt make this a little bit nicer I was thinking to maybe have some camping area here So if like the the miners come from the village up up the mountain and they go to work They have a camping area because they might not want to go home every every night if they work several days in a row These kind of things may put up a tent, but that's something for the future Okay I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun uh, mining the netherite, but I had a lot of fun doing this build in here. Um, yeah, it's it's really exciting. Um, I've never put so much time into designing, uh, into decorating, and it really pays off. It's so amazing. So the thing that I'm good at is to do something and then to judge whether I, whether or not I like it. And if I don't like it, I just redo it. So that's the process I go through. That's why I also enjoy doing it off camera because I build something, I break it again, I build something else. Anyhow, this has been it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you're new, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next episode.